Hello you two, welcome back to Learning Life and Loving Radio Scanners. My name is your host Tommy Cunningham. In today's video, what we are planning to talk a little bit about, in this video, um, I'm wanting to take you guys a little bit in depth on my computer on talking about the radio scanner frequencies which I kind of already put this in one of my videos, but hey, there might be some changes like on the radio frequency spectrum. So, hey, let's give this another shot. So you guys probably heard already on my channel that I'm going to be going tomorrow to the Self Advocates Picnic. <clears throat> up there at Hamrill Park in Plainfield, Indiana. But luckily enough to let you guys know, in Plainfield, Indiana, they use some interesting radio frequencies, which I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about and try not to go a lot further in this. So if you guys are new to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, so you guys will not, not miss out on any videos. And my goal for the rest of the month is to try to get up to 150 subscribers so if you guys could let your friends know and let everybody know about my channel that would be perfect and if you guys need help for anything like if you guys are new to radio scanners i would highly recommend you guys Use that radio reference page because radio reference can maybe help you guys out a lot. I don't know because um, because sometimes on radio reference, just to let you guys know, if you guys are wanting to put some out there, and this is uh, really the interesting thing about that. If you guys want to like broadcast the radio frequencies on here, this is like a little interesting thing. So, so a lot of the communications like where I've been to, <coughs> like the first communication, I always like to try to listen to is a little bit of like the parks communication because sometimes on the parks communication we might always get like some new which I think is really kind of interesting. So um so I'm kind of understanding that all the IU hospitals are now going DMR, which honestly, I see that on here, which honestly, I've been seeing like a lot of different hospitals are going DMR too, because the hospital in Shelbyville, the major health partner in the major hospital is right now a DMR, they use color code 13, talk group one and slot one. Now, if you guys are wanting me to make a video a little bit about that communication, I would highly, highly recommend you guys put that down there in the comments because that would honestly help out. So, um, also, so like also, uh, Indianapolis, uh, Indianapolis also has their own casino. It's called Horseshoe Casino. 
Indianapolis and this casino uses like DMR technology which I think is really kind of cool. Now there is a place last night which I was watching and this place was in an interesting county and and I was surprised where this county was in the area uh in the area of Michigan because this place was like right next to um see we all know Michigan has their own rules on like using like Rio scanners stuff like that because they are like totally unavailable on listening to stuff like that. Well, well, it's kind of like on here. So they use color code four. Their top group is one, two, zero, zero one zero zero and one two zero one dot zero zero one which i think is really kind of interesting like on their end now also they got like a primary communication for like all casino resort operations which i think is really kind of interesting now they also got like on the Isabella County, they got Sheriff Jail Security, which that one uses DMR. They also got the ICTC buses. They also use Nero FM on their hospitals, but but when you guys go down to the Santa Chattawa Indian Tribe. This place uses like, uh, like their own kind of technology. So a lot of places on here, like uses like their own radio technology, which I think is really kind of interesting. So let's just say we are taking a trip over to Michigan and, um, and we're waiting to check out the Tonawana, the Tonawana, Michigan radio frequencies at their plant. Well, well, they got some interesting radio frequencies at the Tonawana engine plant. So they got like on here, production line and workers, they also got plane engineering, they also got a couple more production line of workers. Now, if you guys go on down to the Fort Wayne plant, the Fort Wayne plant only has like Fort Wayne operations, which I think is really kind of interesting, like on their end. They also got the Orion uh, assembly plant now the Detroit one, I kind of understand this, but they got like team leaders, paint shop, clean crew, and plant security. I guess that one only uses by plant operations, which I think is really kind of interesting like on their end. Now, um, now looking on here, these are like all the locations like Bowling Green, they got their own plant, plus they also got like their own attraction there, which is the National Corvette Museum, which luckily it shows on here that the National Corvette Motorsports Park and Museum all uses DMR communication. So that means whenever you guys like type in like a DMR communication number, like for instance, like color code one slot one, that will tell you guys if you guys are listening to the right one. But if that place uses talk groups, I cannot highly 
tell you guys enough to just stay put and listen to those radio frequencies because that place will help you guys a lot. So, um, so I hope you guys are having a good day. With that being said, uh, YouTube, I will see you guys later this afternoon for another video. And this is your friend Tommy Cayenne signing off with just saying, be good. Everybody follow, follow what your passion is and everybody follow everything that everybody tells you, including your bosses and everything. Alright guys, that's it. Have a great day and I will see you guys later.